Hi everyone, my name is Victoria, I'm the social media contributor to CORE and welcome to our new YouTube series called About CORE. In this series, we'll be talking about everything CORE-related. We're heading into 2024 and one of CORE-Chain's main priorities has been putting out a revised and strengthened white paper describing how CORE-Chain operates and why the project is so important. Well, we're pleased to announce that the work on white paper is officially done and the new version is ready to view on the website. In this video, we're going to go over some of the main highlights of the white paper so you can better appreciate the message it communicates. So what are the changes in the white paper? There are a few things that distinguish the new white paper from the old one. The most notable one is that it goes much further into clarifying the symbiotic relationship between the Core blockchain and Bitcoin. From the beginning, Core was designed and built to align very closely with Bitcoin. Core's initial contributors take Bitcoin's commitment to decentralization and security very seriously and wanted the operation of the new layer one to reflect and support those principles. As the paper states in the abstract, CoreChain's major innovation is a novel consensus mechanism known as Satoshi Plus that unites delegated proof of work and delegated proof of stake. Through this combination, CoreChain incorporates Bitcoin miners in the security of Turing complete smart contracts, unlocks the functionality and utility of those miners beyond the simple maintenance of the Bitcoin ledger, and provides them with purely additive supplemental income in the form of core token rewards. This symbiotic relationship works to strengthen Bitcoin without consuming Bitcoin block space or detracting from the miners' primary role as defenders of the Bitcoin network. Each of these elements receive ample treatment. The paper discusses delegator proof of work and delegator proof of stake in great detail, explaining more clearly how the two parts fit together, how miners delegate hash power to core validators, how their efforts are rewarded through core tokens that supplement their Bitcoin reward, how validator election works, and more besides. There is also a great deal more material on the limitations of the Bitcoin protocol. To take just a few examples, Bitcoin block size and transaction throughput aren't high enough to meet the requirements of modern finance or applications demanding higher transaction volumes. The scripting language doesn't support Turing complete smart contracts and the underlying network is extremely difficult to modify. To be clear, CoreChain doesn't view any of these limitations as flaws. Bitcoin has been relentlessly focused on becoming the hardest, most self-sovereign currency on offer, and this is reflected in certain design choices. Bitcoin succeeded in large because of those choices, not in spite of them, and CoreChain's vision is to supplement Bitcoin Bitcoin so it can maintain its legendary integrity while still scaling to support a robust DeFi ecosystem. What's more, the paper has received a much needed overall facelift. All the graphics have been updated, the formatting has been improved, and a lot of secondary material related to security and core rewards has been moved to appendices, so the organization is more intuitive. There have been huge rewrites of the description of how validators, relayers, rounds, and so forth work, so that it's much clearer how the core chain operates under the hood. Along the way, of course, many small inaccuracies and inconsistencies have been corrected. The end result is a much improved account of course underlying technology, how it supplements and strengthens Bitcoin and how it holds the key to making Bitcoin the backbone of a new DeFi economy. Armed with this information, you'll be much better prepared to consume the videos, blog posts and other content that CoreChain releases and appreciate what is that CoreChain is trying to accomplish. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you will go to visit the website to check out the new white paper. Stay tuned for more episodes in this series and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.